the word of God. Dear is power. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow in the word of God. There is power, and the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow in the word of God. There is power, and the name of Jesus, every knee shall again sit in the word of God. Dear is power, and the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. In the word of God, there is power, and at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Hallelujah. The Bible is the word of God. That is our topic today, that the Bible, uh, the Holy Scripture, is the Word of God. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of God, validated it to be so. Yes, it is the Word of God, for he himself quoted from the Holy Scripture to authenticate that it is indeed the word of God. He even take it a step further when he said the word he speak wasn't his own words, but they were given unto him by his father. And he was referring to God. He even said, and those same word he in turn now give unto his disciple. He said, I've given them your word. He was praying unto God, the Father, in the book of St. John 17. And he goes on to say, they believe that I have proceeded from you, and that indeed it is you that have sent me. So this is what I am saying to thee. The Bible, the Holy Scripture is the word of God. The Bible, the Holy Scripture, he is the Word of God. Follow my train of thought for a moment. This is more like a Bible study. Today, packed with teaching in regard to the Word of God. For it is known as the Holy Scripture. The Holy Bible. Ah, the good book. Ah, the Holy Book. But I tell you the truth, it is God's special book. It is not like any other book. It was written by many different people who wrote by the inspiration of the Holy Ghost. The Bible has been translated into more language than any other book in the world. It was first written in three language, Hebrew, Aramic and Greek. The Bible is also one of the oldest book in the world. Yet it is still the most modern of book in the world today. Hallelujah. Blessed be his holy name. Glory and honor, might and power belong unto him. Hallelujah. Bless his awesome name. I speak to you on the topic today that the Bible is indeed the Word of God. We find the meaning of life. Hallelujah! In this great book, Hallelujah! Hallelujah! We find the meaning of life in this book that God has given. Hallelujah! Even the question. That many people desire to know, who am I? Where did I come from? Why am I here? Where will I go? This may sound a bit trivial stuff to some of you, but it is important 
to lay a foundation, a platform to speak from in regarding to this topic. Glory to God. Amen and bless his holy name. Hallelujah. Today is the 25th. Ah, Christmas Day, December 2016. And today I bring unto you a word speaking in regarding to the Bible being the word of God. Again, I say I speak to you on this topic. Hallelujah. Wherever you are now, whatever device you may be listening me on or watching me on now of a certain there is something in this message for you the bible we now use is compiled of 66 books which is divided into two segments ah the whole and the new testament you have 39 books in the old testament and 27 in the new the old testament tell us about god work with his people before the birth of jesus and the new testament tell us about jesus birth his life his great ministry of healing and forgiveness for sick and sinful people and his death on the cross he being raised from the dead and his ascension going back to heaven it also tell us about the continuity the continuation of his ministry of healing and forgiveness to those who saw him after his resurrection those who follow jesus teaching they do many miraculous work just as he said they would do so we have established or have laid a foundation from where we will now speak. Hallelujah, what am I talking about? I am saying the Bible is the word of God. So again, this topic I bring to you today. There are 35 points that I have pulled out in order to support what I'm saying from the good book even the holy scripture number one the bible is the word of god the holy scripture the holy book the good book whatever name you may call it it is the word of god and number two so this is what we were told to do you find that in second timothy 2 verse 15 Study to show yourself approved unto God, a workman that needed not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. And number three, so we are talking about the word of God. Second Timothy 3 verse 16 to 17. All scriptures is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that a man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Number four, that's why we were told, Matthew 4, verse 4. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceed out of the mouth of God. Number five, the word of God causes spiritual growth. And you find that in 1 Peter 2 verse 2. And in 1 Corinthians 3, 1 to 2. As newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word, that you may grow thereby. And in Corinthians, an I virgin could not speak unto you as spiritual but as unto carnal, even as unto babes in Christ. I have fed you with milk and not with meat, for hitherto you were not able to bear it, neither yet now are you able. Number six, the word of God is creative. And you found that in Hebrew 11 verse 3, through faith we understand that the world were framed by the word of God. 
so that the things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. And also in Psalms 33 verse 6 and Psalms 33 verse 9. Number 7, the word of God produces life. You find that in St. John 6 verse 63. It is the spirit that quickens the flesh, profited nothing. The word that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Number eight, the word of God is Jesus. St. John 1, 1 to 3. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him. And without him was not anything made that was made. And in verse 14, we read, And the word was made flesh, or become flesh, and dwell among men. And they beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Number nine, the word of God illuminate Psalms 119, verses 130. The entrance of the word give it light and it bring understanding to the simple. And also Psalms 119, verses 105. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light. And to my part. Number 10, the word of God heals. Psalms 107, verses 20, he sent his word, and his word healed them and delivered them from their destruction. What is it that I'm trying to bring to your attention is this that the Bible that we have is the word of God. Jesus quoted from the scripture to verify. To authenticate and to validate that indeed it is the word of God. Today as the word of God comes even unto you. For faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And as the word is being released into the atmosphere. The word being quickened by the spirit. Hallelujah will bring to pass the purpose. Where and why it have come. In the first place, in Jesus' mighty name, amen.